you how to play Turning Page from the Twilight Saga by Sleeping at Last, Breaking Dawn, Part 1, Bella's Wedding Song. If you want the letter notes for that, you can go to lettertoplayer.com. I've got them there for you with the lyrics. You can download them, have them in front of you as you learn to play this beautiful song. Let's start with the introduction. There's a unison introduction, and what we'll start with, it's in the key of E-flat, so you're going to have E-flats, B-flats, and A-flats in the, keys, in the uh, chords. But we'll start off with a B-flat and an E-flat in the left hand, and a G in the right hand. And then we go to a unison E-flat, both hands, D, G, back to the same notes. Make sure you hold it back, don't go, don't go uh, fast with it. And then we've got A-flat, G, F, unison, A-flat, G. And here we're going to speed the notes up just a little bit, and we're going to go to an e, B flat, E flat, D, B flat. And in the left hand, we're going to go F, E flat, B, D, B flat. The way that's going to sound is G. You hit the B flat on the top, so if we go in together there, then we're back to the same notes. Take the bass down here. So the bass is going to go E flat, F, G, A flat. So the right hand's playing the same thing it was. And then we just change the bass. flat B flat G F while we sustain that A flat in the bass. Now this time we're going to add a to the A flat then we're going to add a C and a D to that A flat as we go through that and the and the treble is going to go A flat B flat G B flat F G D E flat. So now together And then we're going to slide the left hand down to hit the chord right there. And the chord the inversion is going to be an E flat chord, which is E flat, G, B flat, black, white, black. But I'm going to play the E flat in the middle, so we're going to have B flat, E flat, G. Then the vocals comes right in here. Now we're ready for the vocals, so let me go through the vocal line so that you can see it. I've got it all there separated, but I've also got it in the hands together. So E flat, D, C. C, B flat, C, G, G, E flat, D, C, B flat, C, E flat, C, G, G, F, E flat, D, E flat, G, B flat, two of them together, B flat, B flat, G, F, E flat, D, E flat, D, C, 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 E flat, E flat, F, G, B flat, G, E flat, G, F, E flat, A flat, G, B flat, E flat, F, G, B flat, G, E flat, E flat, G, F, E flat, C, B flat, B flat, E flat, F, G, B flat, G, E flat, E flat, G, F, E flat, A flat, G, A flat, G, F, F, B flat, B flat, C, E flat, C, G, F, E flat, E flat, G, E flat, D, C, B flat, G, and then it ends up, it ends up the uh, line with that. Now that's the first verse. The second verse, you just it's, I won't go over it independently, it'll just be as we go through the verse with the chords. So once we get to the verse, so what I'm going to do in the left hand, I'm just going to go B flat, or B flat, E flat, G, 
E flat chord, and then I'm going to go on open fifth. E flat, B flat, E flat. And then I'll just hit these two notes, B flat and E flat, like we did up here at the beginning. So we're going to go. Now here I'm going to hit those, and then I'm going to go back to the open fifth. And we'll, we'll play this up the G, E flat, D, as we bring up the fifth. Then we're going to a different chord. We're going to an A flat chord there. And I'm going to put the A flat on top. C, E flat, A flat. And then we're going to go up to the octave here. We're going to hit the octave, and then we're going to hit this again, and then we're going to hit the chord again as we play the melody. Then we're then we're back into the uh, vocals right there. So that 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 middle part is just a piano accompaniment of it. Once we get to the octave. come back in with G, F, E flat, D, E flat, G in, in that range right there, right in that uh, octave. So now, this time, without me talking through that part, I'll play it for you. we get there we hit the B flat E flat G chord again and then the two B flats and that phrase ends with C C C and when we hit the C C C we go back to the A flat chord and then the octaves A flat chord and then we do this again only this time we do like the introduction e, F E flat D B flat we're going to go to our first B-flat chord, B-flat, D, F, and then we're going to go to C minor, so we're going to B-flat, D, F, C minor to a A-flat, all we got to do is change this, we're going to change every note up one, and then we're just going to change the G to an A-flat, and then we're going to change to the E-flat chord, so we keep the E-flat, change to a G, and change the C to the B-flat. E flat will be right in the center. So here are those chords. B flat, D, F, black, white, white. C minor, white, black, white. C, E flat, G. To a C, E flat, A flat for the A flat chord. And back to the B flat, E flat, G for the, for the uh, E flat chord. So B flat chord, C minor. E flat chord, and then we'll hit the octaves during that. Now during this time, the piano accompanied is going. So they're doing a, a, chord, a notes here, and then that octave B flat in the in the right hand. Well, I can't play the melody and that, so I'll simulate that by putting that B flat right at the end with that octave. So we'll have the chords with the melody. is almost the same. It's almost the same thing there. B flat, E flat, F, G, B flat, G, E flat. Goes down here. The first time goes up to an A flat. This time. So that second time we go. And we hit the octave again.
end that phrase right there, when we end that whole section, we go B flat, C minor. So this, you can actually play the G melody. The melody goes G, E flat, and then we've got thirds. And then we're into the uh, arpeggio section. Thumbs may overlap, you've got the... Then you're going to hit an octave right here, octave E flat, E flat, and then in the in the right hand we're going to play an arpeggio, an E flat chord arpeggio, and we're going to go G B flat E flat G B flat E flat G B flat E, so it's going to go. You do it actually five times on that arpeggio, and when you come down the fifth time, you come instead of going back down to the G, you come back to the back to the B flat, and then you start it over again. So we go. original they actually keep that arpeggio going and then the vocals come in on top of it here I'm going to go to a chord so I can play the vocals now we're into the second verse and here we're going to do um, this is what I'm going to do We've got, I'm going to go back to the arpeggio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the A flat and the G together. And then here our arpeggio is going to be because the chord is an A flat chord. I'll have the A flat chord in the in the left hand. And our, then the arpeggio is going to be G, A flat, B flat, G, A flat, B flat, G, A flat, B flat, G. You're actually going to hit the G three times and then you're going to hit the F twice. So you're going to go... Instead of coming back to the A flat, we'll go to the B flat again. Do it again. So now together with the A flat chord. So we go back to the E flat chord. I'm going to go to a G minor chord right there. Because of that D right there, I'm going to have B flat, D, G. Switch from the E flat to a G and uh, to a D right there. To the C minor. We got a B flat, an E flat chord. To the G minor. Minor. Then we're going to go to the B flat chord or the E flat chord again. So that that way we can go right back to that arpeggio once we hit the A flat chord. We've got the arpeggio going and then we come back out of it to the vocals and then back to the arpeggio to fill and the just the way the accompaniment does and then we come out of that with that comes out with a high b flat i surrender so you got b flat g g f f e flat e flat c b flat g g now that's a different melody than we had the first time through so the melody is going to be different coming out of that let's let's get into it this chord right here to the B flat to the E flat chord you're going from from the A flat A flat C E flat and you got to slide those fingers up to the B flat to the E flat chord so it's B flat E flat G so we're going to go B flat G G F F E flat E flat then we're going to go to an A flat chord so we're going to go with, when we hit the B flat up here, we're going to hit the A flat chord. So we're going to go 
E flat chord, C minor, A flat chord, back to the E flat chord. So it's very similar to the beginning, B flat, B flat. Right here it changes, instead of going F, E flat, it goes G, E flat, A flat, G, E flat, A flat, G, F, F, down to B flat. an extended arpeggio right there. So let me play into that. Let's see, where, where do we start? So C minor to the A flat chord, B flat or E flat chord. Now we've got the B flat chord. Then we go into the back into this. Now this time when we hit this chord, we're gonna go back and forth with the G, F, E flat, F, G, F, E flat, because then that's where the it goes a cappella, E flat, E flat, D, C, B flat. So that's where the voices just the instruments drop out and you've got ready for the and I'll give you that in a second so let's get that to where we've got for me to play this fingering E flat B flat G E flat B flat F E flat G E flat D E flat so if you do those fingers for that arpeggio you've got one finger for each note so you go B flat B flat third finger middle finger on the F E flat then the ring finger on G E flat D thumb on D walk that co the chords up I'm gonna have an a E flat chord E flat in the middle going to a C minor chord so just change the B flat to the C then I'm gonna to go to the A flat chord just by changing the G to the A flat and then by changing the E flat to the F I'm gonna to go to an F minor sound and then we're gonna take it clear up to an E flat chord in, in root position, E flat, G, B flat, black, white, black. Move the B flat to a C, and we'll have a C minor chord with the C on top. And then we move the G to the A flat, and we've got the A flat chord. All the time doing this arpeggio. So, so here we go with it. flat C E flat that'll bring the vocals back in let me go through just a little about that slower so that you can see the fingers you do it twice on each chord
can see those notes. So we go, uh, we go from an E flat to the C minor to the A flat, and then we hit low A flat, and we're ready for the vocals. Now the ending vocals. Just going to go back and forth between an A flat chord, A flat C E flat, and a B flat chord. Back to the A flat chord, then to the B flat chord. So you'll see me change, and those are the only things I'm changing there. So the B flat chord is going to come in between the notes, and the A flat chord is going to come in on the last of the phrase. So we got. to that A flat, the melody is going to go up to a B flat. Back up to the B flat. So we go B flat, G, G, F, B flat, G, G, F, F, E flat, C. Then back up to the B flat. B flat, G, G, F, B flat, C, E flat, F, G. Here we're going to go to the we're going to go back to the arpeggio to finish the tag ending. Then we'll end with this arpeggio and then the melody. So we go back to just the piano for the ending. And what I'm going to do right there is I'm going to play a so I'm going to play these two notes together. Then we're going to play the G and the E flat together, and that'll start off the arpeggio. So the G will start the arpeggio, and the E flat will take the melody. E flat is the melody. start the arpeggio simultaneously. So let's get into it. We start on the high B flat. Then we're going to play an octave in the bass. Do it again. Now I'm going to put the E flat chord that G, I'm going to move the left hand up and play the, uh, the arpeggio with the left hand. And then hit the chord. So we'll go. slow and fade right there so it just fades out that's how it ends hope you enjoy turning page by sleeping at last